Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you a new Nancy Drew analysis video. Today's video is brought to you by the patrons over at Mystique Manor and by all the official fellow detective channel members. If you too would like to support the channel and gain access to exclusive features, check out patreon.com slash wizardkitten to become a patron, or click join next to the subscribe button to become an official fellow detective. We all know that Nancy Drew is a detective, but in the course of her cases, she often has to take on other roles, whether undercover, through circumstance, or as the initiation of a case. Nancy has become a jack of all trades, able to take on any job or skill with ease. But this begs the question, which of Nancy's non-detective jobs that she has held in the course of her career is the best, and which is the worst? Let's discuss. To evaluate Nancy's temp jobs, I've identified three criteria. First, utility. Is the job useful in terms of helping Nancy with her detective duties, or does it detract and distract from her detective duties? Second, entertainment value. Is the job fun, and are the tasks enjoyable, or is the job tedious? Finally, relevance. Is the job relevant to the mystery, story, and setting of the game, or is it kind of random and unnecessary? I scored each of these categories on a scale of 1 to 3 for each game, so each job could receive a maximum score of 9 points. To be included, the job had to be something that Nancy is hired for in some capacity. Voluntary jobs like making jammy dodgers in The Silent Spy or running errands like in Treasure in the Royal Tower don't count. Nancy does not need to make money from the job, but it should be a job that people could conceivably have to make money. Now, let's get to ranking. Number 9, Extra on a Soap Opera in Stay Tuned for Danger. It's easy to forget that Nancy ever was an extra on a soap opera set because she doesn't have to do anything for it. But alas, she was. She had to get an agent and everything. This brief job ends up being useful for Nancy because she's able to access important locations that previously were closed off, including the prop room. She also has an excuse to be backstage once the set is closed to outside visitors. Other than that, this job isn't fun, because we don't actually get to do anything for it, and it isn't all that relevant. While it fits the setting of the game and is kind of a fun little plot point, it just wasn't necessary. Nancy had plenty of other options, including sneaking around at night, which she does later on. That's why this job ends up in last place. Number 8. Telegram Delivery Person in Secret of the Old Clock This job is technically optional. I have made it through an entire playthrough without needing to buy gas and therefore having no reason to deliver telegrams. Because of that, it ranks low on relevance because it's entirely miscellaneous and unnecessary. It adds to the setting but wasn't needed. It gets more middling scores for entertainment and utility. It's only useful because Nancy actually gets paid, which is pretty shocking because usually Nancy is all about that free labor life. Getting money is helpful in this game, though, because Nancy can use it to buy gas or toys and make several of her detective tasks easier to accomplish. It can also be fun at times. The dialogue that we get when delivering the telegrams is charming and full of fun references, but ultimately, delivering telegrams can end up being really tedious and more effort than it's worth. Number 7. Entomologist Intern in Creature of Kapu Cave Nancy accepts this position with Dr. Quigley Kim before she even knows there's a mystery to solve. But in classic Nancy fashion, she finds a case. Working for Quigley is marginally useful for solving the mystery because it gives her access to the Healy Healy Research Center and Kapu Cave. It also coincidentally puts her in proximity to the Hardy Boys, who have a case of their own to solve. It's all very convenient, but technically useful. It's also relevant to the setting of Hawaii and makes sense because it's the initiating event of the game. Nancy came to Hawaii specifically to do this job, so it's a pretty core part of the case. Unfortunately though, and this is its biggest weakness, this job is deeply tedious. Counting the frass is really the only thing we do for Quigley, and man, is it long and complex. It's one of the most hated Nancy Drew puzzles of all time, pretty much defines the job, and really pulls this job down in the ranking. Number 6, Storm Chaser Intern in Trail of the Twister. 
Nancy uses this position to work undercover while she investigates the Canute Storm team. But man, does she still do a whole lot of work all the same. This job ranks low for being so incredibly tedious, especially since a lot of the tasks that we do for the Canute team don't result in any clues. The job is at least relevant, especially for Oklahoma, which is smack dab in the middle of Tornado Alley, and because it is the initiating event of the mystery. The job is also sometimes useful because snooping for clues or solving puzzles will occasionally give her information that she eventually uses to solve the case. All in all, it would be better if it wasn't so mundane. Number 5. Cook and Maid in White Wolf of Icicle Creek Nancy is initially brought to Icicle Creek Lodge by its owner, Chantal Mowikwe, to solve the mystery, but jumps at the opportunity to hire her as the Icicle Creek Lodge cook and maid as well. Her argument is that Nancy can use the job to go undercover, giving her access to the guest rooms and the ability to snoop around the lodge without looking suspicious. She's not wrong, even if she is stingy, because this job is sometimes quite useful. Nancy does find clues in the guest rooms and can move about the lodge with ease, but her cook and maid duties do often get in the way of her mystery solving since she has to be back at the lodge at specific times to serve meals. This job also isn't the most relevant as being a cook or a maid can be a job literally everywhere, but it does help to enhance the vacation destination feeling somewhat. This job does get top marks for entertainment though. It's fun, relatively simple, and actually quite detailed. If it didn't interfere so often, it might be one of the best. Number 4. Fashion Design Intern in Danger by Design This is yet another case where Nancy is hired for a job so she can go undercover. In this case, she works as a fashion design intern so she can ascertain why Minette has gone a little off her rocker, which is pretty ironic since Nancy is often mocked for her style in the games. Although, given some of the outfits that Minette and Heather concoct, maybe Nancy has the right idea. Regardless, this job is highly relevant and useful. It's the initiating event for the case, makes sense for the location of Paris, France, given its reputation for style and couture, and allows Nancy to solve the mystery by putting her in direct proximity with all the clues she needs. Even most of her work tasks are helpful rather than detracting. This job doesn't get a perfect score, though, because the job isn't always the most fun. Some of the tasks are difficult, Manette is a terrible boss, and there are still quite a few mundane duties. Still, though, this job is pretty solid. Number 3. Museum Intern in Labyrinth of Lies Once again, Nancy is hired for this job so she can work undercover at the Phidias Cultural Center to solve the mystery of missing artifacts and potential forgeries. This job is highly relevant and useful. It's the initiating event for the mystery. Nancy is allowed to have access to all the museum exhibits, sets, offices, and records. It gives her a good excuse to ask the cast questions, and a museum fits the historical setting of Greece flawlessly. This is one of the best jobs in my opinion, but it loses a point because it's not always the most fun job. Some of the tasks are enjoyable, but some of them are fiddly or time-consuming and would be kind of a pain IRL. For that reason, it makes the top three, but isn't quite the best of the best. Number two, museum intern in Secret of the Scarlet Hand. This job is incredibly similar to Nancy's job at the Phidias Cultural Center, except in this case, Nancy is hired to be the Beach Hill intern before there is even a mystery to solve. When a mystery shows up, Nancy immediately gets to work, and the fact that she is the museum intern gets her unfettered access to all the Beach Hill exhibits, offices, storage rooms, and records. It also gives her a lot of power and a reason to talk to all the suspects without raising too much suspicion. It's also relevant to the mystery and is a great reason for Nancy to be in Washington, D.C. at Amaya Museum. Just like her job in Greece, however, this job doesn't get quite a perfect score because there are some tasks that can be a bit mundane or finicky. I think Nancy's job at the Phidias Cultural Center is more of a culprit in this sense, but it pops up as an issue from time to time at Beach Hill as well. So, number two, it is. And at number one, we have Archaeologist Intern in Tomb of the Lost Queen. I was surprised when I ended up ranking this job as the top one with a perfect score, but it all made sense once I gave it a little thought. 
Just like Beach Hill, Nancy accepts this internship before there is even a mystery to solve, unless you count the inherent historical mystery of archaeology in general. However, once Dr. John Boyle gets conked on the noggin, Nancy immediately starts investigating. This job is incredibly useful because Nancy has unrestricted access to a never-before-explored historical tomb in Egypt. This is already incredibly cool and is crucial for Nancy to be able to solve the mystery. This job also doesn't detract from solving the mystery in any way. In fact, by completing tasks for her job, Nancy just keeps discovering more and more clues about the mystery of the tomb, leading her to more and more answers about why someone might want to harm Dr. Boyle. Finally, this job is fun. Nancy spends the majority of her time solving ancient puzzles in a gorgeous tomb. The puzzles don't feel mundane because each one reveals something new and exciting, and feel like they should be there given the secrecy and intricacy of the tomb itself. All in all, being the archaeologist intern at the dig site is the perfect job for a detective. It doesn't get in the way, it's only helpful, and it's fun. So there you have it, fellow detectives, my ranking of all of Nancy Drew's non-detective jobs. As far as we know, Nancy only receives actual money for one of these jobs, but otherwise she spends most of her time as an intern. Sometimes these internships lead to mysteries, and sometimes they're a convenient cover for an existing mystery. Regardless, Nancy's resume at this point is long and diverse, which is ultimately quite helpful. After all, as a detective, Nancy needs lots of different skills. But what do you think, fellow detectives? Which of Nancy's non-detective jobs do you think is the best? Which of Nancy's non-detective jobs would you actually do yourself? Let a wizard kitten know in the comment section down below. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button or tipping me for the video with a super thanks next to the download button right beneath the video. If you would like to come join a fantastic group of fellow detectives at Mystique Manor as a patron for the channel, gain access to exclusive content, and support the making of more content like this, please check out patreon.com slash wizardkitten. I also have channel memberships with exclusive badges and emojis to use during streams and in the comment section. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming an official fellow detective, click join next to the subscribe button. Please feel free to follow the channel on Instagram or Discord linked in the description box down below. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Nancy Drew and Cozy Game content. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.